tired of depressing news? Wishing you could just disappear? Why not hide your head in the sand? I'm Max Wynn, creator of Hide Your Head in the Sand. Have you found yourself too depressed about the world to pay attention to it? Then just hide your head in the sand. Americans all over the country are hiding their heads in the sand. This amazing technology allows you to hide your head in the sand anytime politics comes up. Just hold the box, take a deep breath, and hide. I was a person who would listen to NPR <laughs> all the time, all the time, like at home, in the car. As soon as I got hide your head in the sand, I was finally at peace. He promised to drain the swamp. When he filled the swamp up with a bunch of Goldman Sachs bankers, I punched a hole in my wall. But with hide your head in the sand, now I have to think about his promises, not his actions. I could not believe Trump is all that stands between us and Putin. So now I put in my head in sand. It's uh, hide your head in the sand. Yeah, I can check out one day. Hide your head in the sand. Now I hide your head in sand. A lot of people ask me, Max, is this just a litter box with sand in it? And I say, no, bad cat. It has not helped me very much, but at least the concept of it gets me through the cold nights. And for a limited time, receive a free November 7th calendar. It'll be like election day never happened. My friend, hypothermia on the face, just the face. You know this. Thank you to hide head in ice. Just remember, hiding your head in the sand is easy. Engaging with the world is hard. Side effects may include facial, eye, ear, nose, and throat abrasions, insomnia, job loss, and shaky grip on the arm. Don't use hide your head in the sand if you're a member of the press, a Democratic congressman, or Defense Secretary Mattis. Hide your head in the sand when hiding in the woods just doesn't cut it.